Hi, I'm Mark Sipp from Crocker Farm Auction. I'm here to discuss a, a, a great example of Anthony Bacher redware that we received from our July 20th auction. Anthony Bacher uh, is one of the most famous American folk potters of the 19th century. He was a Bavarian immigrant uh, who was involved in potteries in Adams, uh, Adams County, Pennsylvania, uh, Thermont, Maryland, which was called Mechanicstown back then, and most notably Winchester, Virginia. Um, this piece, we feel, was made in Thermont, Maryland, uh, based on the date as well as the family history. It was from a family that actually lived only blocks away from the big Hunting Creek pottery that Anthony Bacher was involved in there. Um, but you can see this piece really typifies one of the reasons why Bacher is so uh, desirable and so collectible and so uh, noteworthy as a potter. It's a very skillfully crafted piece, a very sculptural piece. I mean, the size is fantastic. It's it's larger than most Redware Harvest Jugs known. It has uh, this very nice incised tooling around the shoulder and an excellently crafted ribbed handle. A nice big spout here. And for those of you that aren't familiar with the Harvest Jug form, it's uh, often thought that these jugs were brought out into the fields while, while workers were, were toiling under the hot sun. and um, this would have a cork in it and be filled with a liquid of some sort. Um, a lot of times you'll see a harvest jug with two spouts and, and usually the wider spout is for pouring the vessel into or the water into the vessel and the thinner spout was for pouring it out of. In this case it has one spout which you often see on Redware products and uh, this hole right here which is original to the making of the piece right through the signature was actually uh, an air hole that helped the vessel uh, pour more quickly. Um, you can see this fantastic signature, and Bacher had great penmanship. This piece is very unusual in that um, it's signed on the shoulder. It has a very large signature on the shoulder. Bacher did script sign a lot of his pieces, but most of the examples known. Um, in fact, all the ones I've seen that have a script signature have that signature on the bottom. And so this is great. It really adds to the rarity of the piece as well as the decorative appeal and that 1872 date corresponds to uh, Bacher's uh, time in Thermont, Maryland. Um, you can see the surface is covered in an attractive lead and manganese glaze with some very nice streaking throughout um, here on the shoulder here and on the reverse. It has this very nice speckling. Um, it's a beautiful piece, very sculptural piece. Um, as I said, and um, you don't see too many pieces of Anthony Bacher uh, this nice uh, go unnoticed for very long, and it's, it's, a, it's a rare opportunity to have a fresh-to-the-market piece like this come up, and we're very excited to uh, offer it on July 20th.